this video, we'll talk about movement heat maps. To get started, select a website to work on, then select Heat Maps Movement from the left menu and open a heat map for a particular page. The movement heat map shows us where users move their mouse. Right away, we can see there's a clear and well defined region that receives the most mouse movement. We use the color to indicate which areas have higher concentrations of mouse movement. In the lower left corner, we have a key which shows the color change from maximum to minimum mouse movement. We can look at this heat map and see very clearly that most of the mouse movement happens in the upper right corner of the page. As I scroll down, you'll see there's far less mouse movement further down the page, which indicates that this particular area of real estate on the page is not going to be as successful. As a general best practice, you want your most important elements to receive a good and fair amount of mouse movement around them. If you can nudge elements to be within white or red areas, they're going to be more likely to get clicked on because that's where users move their mouse. In the top left of the heat map, we can switch between heat maps of different pages using the drop down here. We see the total number of views to the page as well as the total number of clicks that occur anywhere on the page. We can also adjust the opacity of the heat map overlay, as well as the intensity of the underlying data that gets collected. It's easy to switch between different heat maps using this menu here. We can also switch between different device types as well. Of course, we can filter by date using the familiar control available elsewhere throughout the application. We can open the detail drawer to get a quick summary of the various metrics that we're used to from the heat map list. And finally, we can view the heat map in full screen, download the heat map, share the heat map with others, or go to the page itself to analyze it on our own.